So today I wanted to talk about something that's really fun and it's one of my favorite things as fragrances. Um, but first of all, uh, excuse the weird hair happening here. I've got a keratin treatment in it and I can't wash it out yet. Uh, so that's super fun. Mr. Owl helping me out with that. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple of the um, bigger, more widespread trends that are happening in the fragrance industry right now. And uh, not so much about like the specific notes and types of fragrances that are um, starting to be popular, like gardenia fragrances are really in right now um, or whatnot, but uh, more of the widespread trends that are happening in the direction that the fragrance market is moving into. Um, and um, one of those things is fragrance layering, fragrance blending, and I'll get to that um, in just a minute, but one of the biggest Move, moves that the fragrance market is taking is um, niche fragrance houses are becoming a lot more popular. So what that means is that um, these niche fragrance houses are creating fragrances that are a little bit more interesting and unique and not quite, not quite what you see all the time. It's not going to be a sense that are going to smell like anything you've ever smelled before. You know, so um, they don't smell like designer fragrances or anything. They're, there's usually something a little bit kind of quirky about them, which I really like because I like um, I like more masculine smelling scents for some strange reason. I don't know. Um, there are a few sweet things that I like too, but um, I like earthy, woodsy, spicy um, things that smell like earth and dirt, but in a good way, if that makes any sense at all. It probably doesn't, but that's okay. Um, so I was really trying to get this video up earlier before, um, before like Christmas and everything, but a few things kept, kept getting put off. But hopefully these kits that I'm going to show you will still be available um, after Christmas. Probably, maybe, some of them will still be available, and if they are available, they'll probably be going on sale, so that's a good thing. Okay, so here are some holiday kits from the three uh, niche fragrance houses that I'm most excited about right now. Um, the first one is just a discovery kit. It's by Juliet Has a Gun. It was a pretty cheap kit. It was around 10 or 15 bucks. I can't really remember. You get eight of their scents to try. There's this little insert that tells you a little bit about them and the scent descriptions and names. There's a few of them in here that I'm really excited about. The one that's called Not A Perfume is um, really interesting. It's like a single molecule fragrance and it is supposed to be like a sort of woodsy smell. So it's really, really good for scent layering. Uh, again, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, Gentle Woman it sounds really interesting. So that's from Juliet Has a Gun. I'm also really excited to try these from Nest Fragrances. These are uh, tr all travel sizes. There are seven of these in this kit. But I have to say, um, White Sandalwood is amazing. Um, it's got almond, white musk, uh, spices, and Indian sandalwood. And it's a little sweeter than I normally wear for a perfume, but it smells so good. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, so the nest nest fragrances definitely check those out. I also picked up this kit from Tokyo Milk in their dark line. Six travel size fragrances in here. Some of my favorites from this kit are Tainted Love, Bulletproof, and Excess. Most of these are a lot more on the spicy side, which is really nice. So it's like a combination of spicy and fresh. And I just, I'm really into these. I'm really excited about these. So moving on to the other big thing that's happening in the fragrance world right now is fragrance blending or fragrance layering. And there's a few ways that you can go about doing this. The first way is are going from scratch and using single note fragrances to kind of like layer over each other and kind of blend your own personal scent. That can get pretty difficult, especially if you're kind of unsure about what goes with what, um, but there are thankfully a lot of um, kits and brands that are kind of designed to help you be able to create your own signature scent. 
that are slightly more foolproof than that. So, and a lot of these kits have sort of scent recipes um, where you, it's a, you know, layer this with this and you'll get something that smells like this. I'll show you a couple of the things that I have and I'll talk about a few of the other things that I think are interesting. The most simple thing um, that you can do is layer two fragrances that are meant to be layered together or worn apart. <clears throat> and I've heard of a few brands doing this before, but the most popular one right now is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White and Black. And these are just the little roller balls here. That these little travel roller ball sizes are really affordable. Um, I know the full size is quite expensive. Uh, from the commodity website, Sephora sells commodity fragrances now, but from the commodity website they have what they call their fitting kits. You can get the fitting kit that comes with a full size bottle of their perfume, three travel, yeah, three per size perfumes or one per size perfume. <clears throat> so what comes in the commodity kit, large sample sizes of all 10 of their scents and there are these little fragrance tester strips here and they give you some comment cards so you can kind of take notes while you're sampling what they have <laughs> and and these are also meant to be mixed or worn together um, they can be mixed um, like the white ones can be mixed with white ones black ones can be mixed with black ones or they can cross over and mix a black and a white together. That will get you the most rounded fragrances, mixing a white and a black together. If you want um, a much more powerful, um, complex nighttime scent, um, I, would, I would say maybe going with the, just the black ones. Or if you want something light and airy and a little bit more fresh, um, the white ones are really good for that. Um, my favorite, my favorite ones from these are um, from the White Liner Tea and Paper. Um, paper is if you um, the brand the fragrance brand Clean their skin scent. My favorites from the Black Line are Book and Gin. The big kit is from Blend by Fred Segal. This you get ten roller balls of fragrance oils. This one is really fun. When I was talking about the scent recipes, this is this is kind of what I was talking about. It comes with this really cool stand where you can put all of your fragrance oils in there. It's out of it, so packaging on this is really nice. And it opens like a book, sort of. So you've got your fragrances here and here. And in this little pouch, you have recipe cards of what to mix with what to get different types of fragrances. And they give you a couple of blank ones too, I believe, to write your own notes down so you can remember what combinations you liked and stuff. So this is um, a really good one if you are a little bit more adventurous, um, and but they still have some guidance in here um, if you're unsure when you're starting to blend your fragrances. And now a few more brands um, that do similar things. Mixology is one that does um, something very similar to this, and it is... Um, Quite a bit less expensive and I'm hoping to get my hands on that uh, pretty soon. Like I, the brand Clean, like I mentioned before, is also really good for layering. They do sell a few different layering kits and they also have a little um, app on their website where you it kind of tells you what blends you might like. So you read the fragrance descriptions and pick one that sounds really nice to you and then they narrow the rest of them down to what would go well with it and then you you know kind of read the descriptions and then pair together what you think would go nice so it's it's really helpful and it kind of helps you know what goes with what um, from clean so clean is really so that's really nice also um, philosophy has um, I know philosophy did come out with one like small um, layering kit as well Jo Malone of course Jo Malone um, has lots of like single accord fragrances or like very simple fragrances that are really good for layering. They're really pricey. That's, you know, um, but I did have to mention it. Sometimes they do have a really good deal, especially during the holidays where they sell the kits with the smaller sizes. So if you're interested in trying out Jo Malone, I would definitely recommend waiting for one of their kits to come out. If you have a certain type of fragrances that you like or a certain genre of fragrances that you like, 
you can take a simple perfume that is in that range. For example, if you like sweet fragrances, um, Prada's Candy is very sweet, but it's very simple. I think there's only like three notes in it, so it's easy to blend with other fragrances that you think could use a little bit of sweetness. Um, so that's really nice um, to be able to do that too. And there's, you know, if you like maybe more floral fragrances, um, there are a few brands I think that do just a, like plain gardenia spray, um, things like that. So that's really easy to blend as well. I accidentally figured out recently that um, I really like mixing Mark Naked Love body spray, which is like a peachy apricot -y body spray with Avon's original Imari scent. I don't know how that happened, but it smells so good. I really like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm by no means a fragrance snob. Some of my favorite perfumes come from Avon. Um, but these are just some of the most recent things that I've picked up. Some uh, interesting trends that I'm really excited about. And yeah, that's, that's about it for this one. Um, so I've been trying to post in my blog more regularly, so I will link that down below. Check out my Instagram, and if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button for me. Leave me a comment, and also let me know if there's anything you would like to see here. And that is it for today. Thank you.